So you just logged in and you see a download for patch 1.1 and you're wondering what's in it. In this video we'll be going over everything the patch notes has so with that out the way, let's get into this yeah? As soon as you load up the game you'll see a pop up for character appearance. You can now change all your allies skin by going to the training dummy stone. There will now be a new section labeled appearance. Pick whichever skin you like. We'll also have a weapons tab which lets us glamour our weapon. Notice how I have the Goddard Demerung on, but I have the Flame Tongue skin on? You can now dress the kill without worrying about losing stats. Another quality of life is showing us the cooldowns of our abilities. You can now see all the cooldowns by pressing triangle to see more details. The game also automatically calculates any accessories that lowers cooldown, like Breath of Fire for Scarlet Cyclone. Later in the game you'll get a free gift with the iconic Onion Sword from Final Fantasy 3. It'll be found in the redeemable items. I'm unfortunately not feeling too well so I can't showcase this next change, but they have adjusted arcade mode. They added a new time limit so players cannot spam one skill and accumulate massive amounts of points. Two culprits they mentioned were Rhyme and Gouge, which got massively nerfed on how many points they give. They did mention they'll be monitoring this and it'll adjust the system as needed. If you go to our settings you may notice that we have additional target cycling options under gameplay. I personally wasn't a fan of pressing R3 to swap to my targets as I found it awkward so I'm glad they added more variations. Lastly the biggest news, Yoshi P has confirmed there will be two paid DLC in the future. <laughs> Hopefully this video helped you get all caught up with patch 1.1 and if there's anything I missed out on, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, consider checking out the one on screen. Until the next video, I'll see ya.